Hey everyone, it's the Dame of Odd Trades and I'm finally back with the thrift haul. Oh my gosh. I mean, I guess you could kind of figure like I tell you, yeah, you know, I'm gonna make a new video, but just come back two months later and then sometimes I have one. Uh, this thrift haul is actually a haul from Easter. Yep, it's May 20 something and I'm finally sharing with you what I got during the 50% off sales for Easter weekend. I know I'm doing a really great job keeping up in all that, but at least you know within two months I'll have something new. And what's even more awesome is I have another haul from a recent trip to share with y'all and hopefully maybe we can shoot for a month. I'm just kidding. I'm actually gonna start doing this. I mean, how many times do I say that? Maybe I just shouldn't say it because I jinxed myself. But let's go ahead and just check out what I got and waste no time. Cut the chit chat, thrift haul time. Alrighty, let's start with the good stuff. Actually, the stuff that doesn't go in the mannequin body form thing. I'm gonna admit it, I love belts. I don't know what it is, I just feel naked without one. If there's loops, I'm more than likely wearing a belt because it's just a comfort thing for me. So I picked up for 40, I think it was 40 cents and I got three belts, but one of them was like ugly. But these are just kind of plain black skinny belts. One of them has almost like an animal-like texture on it. And then the other one's just smooth and black. Now these are just, they're really cheap belts. They're not gonna last long. But you know, for now, and while they last, they look pretty cute with a pair of high-waisted jeans. I've even worn them with skirts and they're just very simple and they fit and they were 40 cents. So can't beat that. Another thing that I bought for 40 cents, I know I sh I, I'm really trying not to share with you the prices that I get for things, but these were so legit. I just freaked out. For 40 cents, I got these. Nine West booties. They are freaking awesome. And I love how they have this like pointed toe and it almost does look like a boot, but it has this nice, almost big wrinkled kind of thing. So I feel almost like a Western Peter Pan when I wear them, but they are pretty sweet. They're super comfortable and only 40 freaking cents. Nine West boots. So I went through my shoe collection which I continuously add on. And it seems like whenever I buy one pair of shoes, I end up buying like two or three pairs of shoes during that same shopping trip. But you know, don't judge me, okay? I just like shoes. And uh, of shoes, I happen to like black boots. This is my 10th pair of boots that I've purchased, but they were worth it and I couldn't say no. Feast your eyes upon these super duper Cole Haan booties retail over $250 for these kind of boots. Chelsea style with this little elastic and a little belt uh, detail. I'll share you the price of these because I can't help myself. $10. They were 20, half off, $10. Now, since they are pretty, I mean, I've, I've already worn them a couple times, but they do give me a little bit of a blister on my shins. But after a few wears and whenever I, Break these bad boys in, I'll be able to wear them comfortably. So next winter, I'm sure, because I have way too many shoes. And now that it's getting hot outside, my feet get claustrophobic. So I just want to wear sandals all the time. Whatever that can let my feet breathe, you know? But these are still adorable. And I'm going to try to wear these during the summer because they very much need to be broken in. But $10 for Cole Haan boots, I'll take it. I did. I did take it. So there's a time in every woman's life where she finally gets her woman's body. Now, when I was 18, 19 years old and wearing bandanas and shirts, I never thought that I would gain weight, but my poor diet and excessive love for soda has proved otherwise. So with that being said, I am no longer part of the extra small club. It's true. Uh, smalls, mediums, that's the life that I'm living. But when I was thrifting, I found this adorable dress and I just loved it so much. I splurged. This is I actually paid a little bit more than I would normally because I just thought it was adorable, but it's extra small. It's just this really simple black dress. And I would put it on the mannequin so you can get a better view of it, 
but I think that me and the mannequin share the same dress size. So this, if this doesn't fit me, probably doesn't fit my friend right here. So yeah, it's a dress from Target and it's in the size extra small. It has almost this kind of glimmer and shine to it. And since I love wearing nothing but black, the way I add some variation into my wardrobe is textures, like the Spice Girls have said. Spice up your life, wear more black, but add some textures and fabrics and other things, as long as it's in black, it has to be in black. This doesn't fit, I'm gonna throw it on the fine shop, so if you're interested in purchasing this dress and you're fortunate enough to be an extra small, this can be yours in the near future. So just like my feet, other parts of my body need to be aired out, and I mean my legs. So even though black high-waisted denim pants is my go-to bottom piece, uh, during the summer, I just can't do that. Plus, whenever I make beach and river trips, there's no, no, I'm not. I'm not gonna wear pants because that's just weird. Plus, my legs are pretty pale and they need to become unpale. Need to get a little tan. Oh, and remember how I told you about the woman's body thing? Yeah, that all that's affected like all parts of my body. So last summer, I threw out my big shorts because I was like, I'm never gonna be this big again. Heck yeah, toss them. A couple months ago, I put on a pair of shorts for the first time and it just didn't happen. I, I just, I sucked and I sucked and I sucked. And then I did all these dancing and wiggling movements, nothing. So I bought new shorts. And of course, guess what color they're in? They're in black. So we have these Levi Strauss high-waisted black denim shorts. Levi never fits me, but since I have a woman body now, Levi has actually started to fit, so it's pretty sweet. This is just a nice thick denim. And then I also got another pair of Levi shorts, but this is in more of like that stretchy kind of denim. I'm sure there's like spandex or, let's see what's in it, Lycra spandex, yep. So stretchy denim, but black. These are gonna be a little bit more breathable for those 100 plus degree temperatures. <sighs> I'm really worried about it. I've been digging this rain, but I need to go out into the sun. But I know that the sun brings terrible, terrible things in the form of devilish heat. Okay, so I'm very serious about spicing up your life. And uh, I think a really awesome way to do that is a scarf. And when I saw this scarf, I nearly fainted because I love floral print, and I especially love floral print on black. And I actually have quite a few scarves. I used to wear them all the time, and I think that I need to start doing so. But uh, I've worn this to work already, and I thought I just felt classy and elegant and like a lady. And sometimes it's nice to feel like a lady. But this is just a really great piece. It, it adds that really nice detail to something plain and basic and this this is nice so it's true summer is around the corner and like i said before my legs they need to breathe and they also need to get a tan if possible too so i got picked up this awesome i'll just show it to you it's great i found this black knee length skirt and it's a very lightweight fabric it breathes nicely Belt loops, okay, belt loops, which is just, that just makes me so happy on a skirt. Skirts rarely have belt loops. And when I saw this, I was like, yes, please. And then, look, let me just show you. Oh, where'd my hand go? Into this pocket, because who doesn't love pockets on skirts? Belt loops, pockets, knee length, breezy, best black so lots of b words all positive and all super awesome <sighs> just look at the beauty of this shirt long sleeve over the shoulder i like these little straps i don't know i might kind of get rid of them because you can't just put them to the side but this would be adorable without the straps but kind of like the support of the straps i don't know i'll decide one day 
but this is an express shirt and it is oh adorable very 90s am i right it's very 90s i tried wearing it I wanna wear it when it's tucked in, so I feel like I have to wear it with a skirt for some reason. But I think it would be really nice with a black flowy skirt. Maybe one with floral print on it. I don't know, I have a couple. Quite a few actually, probably too many. But I think that this top is just adorable. And I haven't worn it yet, but I can't wait till I get to. Super awesome. Speaking of the 90s, here is this tank top that reminds me of armor and that's why i think i like it so much i mean it's see-through barely so perfect to wear with a bralette during the hot summer but as you may or may not and probably should know i am obsessed with game of thrones so anything that kind of reminds me of anything that they would wear obviously they wouldn't just wear this but if it makes me feel like i'm a knight i mean where can you go wrong See-through shirt, I don't know what the brand is. No tag on the back, but just another simple basic piece that has kind of texture and it's not just a solid color that I can add to the collection of tank tops. Gotta let the armpits breathe, the arms get tanned. Summer is coming. So I just wanted to add another basic to my collection and um, like black t-shirts, we also need black tank tops. And this one is of course see-through. I just love anything sheer, see-through, anything like that. Uh, as you can see, perfect with a bralette, summer's coming, the whole shebang, black tank top. So you may know, and I'm sure you've heard, and if you don't know, now you do, I love button-ups. Long sleeve, short sleeve, no sleeve, it doesn't matter. And for some reason, I'm always drawn to vintage looking button ups. Now I think this is a Mervyn's. I don't even know if there's any Mervyn's that exist anymore, but I know for sure that they existed during the 90s. And this is one of their items. And I just love the color. It's kind of like this like really a muted gray, light gray color, almost almost like an ashy purple. And then of course it has these other muted colors. And I think the one that pops out the most is this interesting almost, uh, it's not teal and it's not seafoam, but you know, this green blue color that's going on right here. But I love it. I can wear it to work. I can wear it to the grocery store. I just think that, I think that it's a really good piece and it made me happy when I saw it, so I got it. And I've already worn it to work and I, feel, I felt good about it. I felt really good about it. So speaking of the 90s, I feel like this is the epitome of the 90s. It's just a sheer black top from the Limited. And for some reason, it, it, it's reminiscent of the 90s to me because I feel like if I close my eyes, I could see Cher Horowitz wearing this and pairing it with like a white, the heck is it called? spaghetti strap. I don't even think they call it spaghetti straps anymore, but remember when you used to wear t-shirts under your spaghetti straps? That was a good look, and I've seen some people do it, and I might do it again too. It just depends on my mood, but very nice. So I have here yet another shirt that is reminiscent of the 90s. There is a little bit of makeup stain from me. Don't worry, I've worn it. Of course I've worn it. And of course I've gotten makeup on it already. But don't worry, I can wash it. Evidence will be gone after I throw it in the wash. But it's just another one of these cream lace tops. And I just think that it would be super adorable, of course, super adorable, with a bralette or something. Take advantage of how see-through it is because it's pretty awesome. And I like that it's not just an actual white color, that it's cream because it adds a little bit of variety to my wardrobe, plus it's lace. And like I said, textures, lace is a nice texture. Just changing it up. But thank you so much for watching this haul. I have another one coming up. I'm so sorry it takes me a long time, but I am going to seriously dedicate more of my time and effort making more videos. And I think that all my viewers, or not all my viewers, some of my viewers and subscribers uh, really hate when I post vlogs. So you know what, fine. I'm still gonna post them. 
but I will hopefully have so many videos that you don't even notice. You, you might even welcome a vlog. You'll be like, oh no, there's too many thrift hauls, just too many awesome videos. I need to calm down and watch a vlog. And if you're feeling that right now, go watch one of my vlogs because I just did a pretty cool one of my camping trip in Arkansas. Yeah. So anywho, thanks so much for watching. I promise I'll have another thrift haul within the next two months, hopefully the next month. Ideally, let's try two weeks, okay? Thanks so much for watching. Have an awesome day. And if you like thrift hauls and you just wanna make me happy, give me a little thumbs up. Subscribe, I don't know where the button is anymore. Subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the future. Bye.